Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Yo, yo. What up, though, people? Like to welcome you back to the Keep the C No podcast. As always, I'm your boy Brown. To the left of me, we got. You got your boy John. And to the left of John, we got. Vito in the building. Shout out to that. Um, shout out to everybody. If this your first time, salute to you. If you frequently view the show or listen to the show, we appreciate you too. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, especially if you're on YouTube or Spotify. A lot of crazy stuff going on over the weekend. Donald Trump, some people's favorite president. His house was raided. One of his residents was raided. FBI claims they found classified documents in the crib. How y'all feel about it? Trump, by the way, is saying nothing that was in the house was uh, classified. Everything was declassified. How y'all feel about that? Is a movie keeping the C note with us? I'm a little in between. It could be a movie because you never know with this guy. Or well, maybe they was in there looking for them them taxes they was talking about when he was running. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. You never know which way the media is going to push. But another thing to look at is that, you know who gets to change the status of a declassified and a classified document? Who? The president. Okay. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know the process on if it's a committee or whatever, but it's done by the president right. to make whether or not a, a document is classified or not. The the uh, rep for the Democrats, though, uh, his name would be on the screen, though. He's saying that they haven't seen no no uh, paperwork saying that President Trump declassified anything. That's his claim. You know what I mean? But I don't know. But yeah, the, I I did read about the president do have the can declassify stuff and all that. To me, I think it's a movie. I just think they don't want him to even attempt to run again for president. They don't want him to gain no momentum or nothing. So I think they they gonna keep tweaking on him. That that's just my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? But if it is true and he had like some serious top secret, oh he going down him. down. Oh, he going down, down. And that's that's the worst thing I don't but, want uh, to let, let me let me ask you this, though, right? Uh-huh. Let's just say, how you say it, Vito? Common sense ain't all that common. Listen, you mean to tell me somebody as arrogant as Donald Trump, that a, a businessman has been a millionaire for years, that he going to slip all of a sudden and, and bring the wrong uh, paperwork home? Like I don't that that wouldn't be too too much of common sense, would it? I, he know they gonna be on his back. That's true. I, I say he not smart. I mean he not dumb, but he also not smart. <laughs> so he, he I'm sure he capable of doing some dumb ass shit. Not like that though, bro. That's just borderline. Just he he felt <laughs> as though know I mean? he felt as though those documents weren't being classified, even though they was labeled like TS or whatever for a top secret. But I mean. There's Who, no who's to say but the media the media might be swaying us. Who, who yeah, we never know. We never know. But you know, what's your thoughts on it, people? Donald Trump. They raided his spot. FBI say they found uh classified documents. Trump saying that the documents have been declassified. Keep it a C no with us. Let us know what you think. Preseason football. Shout out to everybody up here, Vito. Both our teams, even though preseason don't mean nothing, both our teams won. Yeah. Dude, it, dude, um, listen, I, I don't know why people say as far as the record don't mean nothing. But, but yeah, watch. Preseason means something. Shout out, shout out to John, though, because Jalen Hurts, one drive, they went down the field. They, they scored a touchdown. So, thing, let, me, let me put this in there, too, with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, I actually like Jalen Hurts. Okay. And he, he, I've noticed he's gotten better. Like as far as the deep ball, because he's been dropping that shit in no, there. I What's think, in your cup, bro? I know, because I think no, What's in your cup? I, I, I never hated on Jalen no, Hurts. I think Jalen Hurts has one of the weakest arms in the NFL. And that's what I hate nah, about him. Nah. But no, the weak arm does. really don't matter because Listen, guys he, like Alex Smith and on Jeff on Garcia and survived that, but, with weak arms. But if you look at that game, they went into that game plan uh 
that game with the game plan of not giving the ball to A.J. Brown purposely. And yeah, they, they drove the ball, they and, they they drew, and they drove it smoothly. He, he, with Cass right. Watkins. Well, well, them and other Dallas guys Goddard. are going to get open because A.J. Brown's going to draw that yeah. attention yeah. automatically. But you know what I mean? Um, damn, what I was just about to say, I was about to say something to y'all about Jalen Hurts. Uh, no, nah, what's the other guy? Tua. Tua's a guy that I don't think he's got good arm strength. Don't. I don't think he's accurate, but I've been seeing him with Tyreek and them. He look all right. Mm-hmm. Pause. Yeah, Tyreek. Mm-hmm. Sure. I seen the thing with Tyreek. Said he one of the most accurate. Yeah, in the yeah. So I, I'm saying, like, we we shall see. But I want to ask y'all a question. Tom mm-hmm. Brady. He's been going away from Tampa Bay since August 11th. They say he should be back around the 20th. Some people saying he retired and he already planned the trip. Some people saying he may be contemplating retiring again. He's coming back. Keep it a C no. What's your thoughts on it? He coming back and he don't gotta do nothing. He don't gotta practice. He don't gotta play. He can sit out to game Sunday at game one and he'll be ready. Facts. What's your thoughts, John? I agree with that, but then it all could be a movie. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors and Brady's thoughts to the the office or the the coach or whatever, um, and the staff that's ahead. I don't know. And then with him taking a break, I don't see no 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 issue with that. He's yeah. he's older in age. He'll catch up on that. I mean, the playbook. I'm pretty sure he's pretty sharp. Yeah. He'll get he, right back into shape in no time before the season starts. So I, I don't see that there's a problem with him being gone. I think, granted, he is the GOAT. He could get that time. Right. I mean, if, and, if and he don't take much punishment, so he can. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now, their, their center – is out for a couple of months. I think they got like three people out on the line. Their center, I know for sure, that, but their center is like their heart, the boy Jensen. Mm-hmm. He's out. Mike Evans just hurt his hammy in camp, so you know that's going to be lingering no, all year. Three offensive line. No, no, I know you talking. Right. I know what you're saying. I'm just saying Jensen is the main boy that I know. You see what I'm saying? Because he's like they bully on it. He didn't want to try to fight everybody. Him and Aaron Donald always get into it. But Mike Evans, we already know. Hammy, this may last all year again. And it's like two, three years with Mike Evans with the Hammy. Then you got a, a, a who else? A Julio, he, he's a little older. I mean, he may be reconsidering this thing. You sure that Hammy ain't a, ain't a so-called movie for training camp and practice? Because Plexico Burst used to do that shit every year. Nah, but every year, the last two years, Mike Evans been sl- slowed down by a Hammy injury. You know what I mean? But I want to I wanna get y'all thoughts on this because when I seen this was trending on Twitter, I always, one tweet always sticks out. Somebody said that Brady is having second thoughts about playing with Tampa Bay because he doesn't want to play for a black coach. You, 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 can you see that being possible at all, Vito? Anything's possible, but I don't think so because first of all, almost 95% of the league is black. So he keep playing with black players, and not and, and truthfully, Brady is kind of the coach anyway. Right, he the coach on the field, so he he got the green light to do what he wants. So the coach don't really matter. What's your thoughts on the John? Could it be possible? Um, it could be possible, but I mean, I, I don't think that's the case. But you know what? He he's I wouldn't put it past Tom Brady. Uh, but I will say this though, but. What y'all don't realize about Tampa Bay is that, like, when they went somewhere, I think they had three, all their coordinators, all of them, they was all black. The assistant coach, I think he was black. Right, And they had uh, females that was on the squad, so. Right. I mean, so they was was definitely diverse. Right. So, Brady, he was around black staff left and right, Right. except for the head coach. Think what he did. How he went to bat for Antonio Brown, a, right? Yeah, he a did. Well known basket case, and he took and, pay cuts. Exactly. But I, I mean, but I wouldn't put it past him. I ain't putting it, nothing past nobody. But <laughs> yeah, I, 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 but I wouldn't well, put I it past him, like but I don't said. think it's that. I think if anything, if he is having second thoughts, if anything is from all the injuries, that's what I would think. But what's your thoughts, people? Tom Brady, he's been away from Tampa Bay since the 11th of August. He'll be back the 20th. Should we have any concerns about it? Keep the C note with us. Since we talk in football, we about to spin the block, Vito. Um, we we've did AFC and NFC with everything, right? Now let's let, let's start with the coaches overall. 
Okay. Who's the top five coaches right now coming into the season in the NFL overall? AFC, NFC, it don't matter what division they in. And please don't start throwing punches from the gun bus. I got the Uber on speed dial. So you want, Who you wants to set it up? You want me to start it up? All right. I'm going to just go through it. Number five, the Eagles. Nick Sirianni. I got okay. him at five. Hold on. You're just not going to slide through that. How is he in the top Yo, five? Can I go besides, through my list? No, no, no. Besides let, the let, bias, because what has he done to even be in the top five as far as a coach? That's 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 yeah. true. Let's come back to that. Let's Thank let him finish his list. Number four, Sean McDermott. Number three, Bill Belichick. Okay. Number two, Andy Reid. Number one, Sean McVay. Okay. Shout out to that. Let me let me run it down. I I'm done with John. Okay, okay, beat off. <laughs> let me be great. Right. My number five, and I, I'm doing my list according to longevity wins. Okay, so it's not just based yeah, off right now. Yeah, it's just right not based of who's. But yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go the guy from um Buffalo. McDermott. McDermott. Okay. Number okay. four. I'm gonna go your guy. Who? Which guy? McVay. McVay. Okay. Number three, I'm going to go Shanahan. Okay. Number two, I'm going to go I'm going to go Tomlin. Okay. Shout Number out one, to that. And I'm not putting Belichick in there because I feel like Belichick is like just a whole different guy. Number one, I'm going to go Andy Reid. Okay. Shout out to I, that. I, I think that was a little disrespectful to your man. I mean, it is. Nah, because they're still no. kind of newer head coaches. He's Tomlin head and coach. Tomlin and Reed got way more time, and they have winning seasons That's for a, fact. a long time. That's a That's fact. fact. Uh-huh. My number five, I got John Harbaugh, Baltimore Ravens. He's still, yeah. You always forget. Y'all both always forget about him. Um, just because they 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 was hurt last year. That's probably why y'all forgetting about him. But he always yeah. winning season and all that. Number four, I got Mike Tomlin, okay. Pittsburgh. Number three, I got Belichick. Okay. Number two, I got Andy Reid. And number one, I got Sean McVay. And mostly it's because of what Vito said. That in, and first of all, he just won the Super Bowl. We talk about innovator. He's an innovator. Um, he kind of set the trend where we're not going to play nobody in the preseason. That was him. Another thing that Sean McVay, where we starting to see where he affecting the league is before them scrimmages wasn't a big deal, mm-hmm. but Sean McVay and the Rams, like they make their scrimmages, they make them a big deal because they don't play their starters in the preseason. So now you starting to see highlights from scrimmages and all like that's becoming a thing. I think that's because of McVay. If you look around all the top coaches, Cincinnati and all that, they're, they're all from McVay tree in a short time. So that's why I got him at number one. You know what I mean? But what's your thoughts, people? Coming into the NFL season right now, who's the top five coaches overall? Keep it a C-note with us. Um, They gave Young Thug some more charges, added some more charges to to Young Thug's case. How y'all feel about it? Keep it a C-note. I feel like they're doing the same, kind of the same thing they did with Supreme and Murder, Inc. They're taking the money out of the equation so he can't help them other guys fight their cases. Right. Right. At the end of the day, if he's the top of the totem pole, he's not doing no dirt. The right. Other guys uh, below him, they could be doing shit without his knowledge. And the fact that they're affiliated with him right. just puts him in a bad spot. Right. What's your thoughts on it, John? I totally agree. I think they're trying to wipe this man for every cent, every dollar that he got. They're going to try to charge all these. They're going to put all these charges on him that, I mean, it's just going to rack up on him. Boy. Right. So, I mean... Him and the other boy got a bad rap in this too. Gonna yeah. pause. Yeah, look how they did casting over. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. even the head of, of that situation. Now, after I heard some stuff about that too with Casanova, over, and I thought like the way he took that deal was kind of like exactly what he stated in that interview before, saying like you got to be a rat if you sign that. Yeah, you know I mean, nah, but you ain't got. Because, I don't think that's so. Pub- that's as 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 anybody can go online and search it. So if he's told, motherfuckers would know. No, but at but, the end of the day, you know. 
him taking that deal, he didn't want to take the chance of going right. to, to trial right. and getting 80 fucking years. And, right. And then also, I heard about the, the conditions that they had him in. I heard it was bad, bro. Man, they, it's they bad broke. for everybody in bad. jail, it man. Is, but he was he was separate. He was like on a whole... Man, day. they got jokers every day uh-huh. that's separated like from... Like ADX, 23 and 1? Yeah, like, 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 you don't... You, you got to wait 10 years to even come the fuck out no, and get this... Nah. Just, yeah, I, 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 I agree with y'all. I think they're going to take all young thug money, and then they're going to give him football numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, Most of his shooters going to get football numbers. I've already seen stuff. Uh, Didn't fact check it yet, but it'll be on the screen if it's official that they started uh freezing assets from his family members. You know what I mean? It's so all I don't, about money. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on it, people? Keep it to see no young thug. They just added some new charges oh, on him. Can I add this? And that just shows you how fucking rotten the system is. The fact that you are going to freeze assets, and not just mine, but family members around me, so nobody can help me fight my case. That's why the conviction rate is so high. Right. Right. They, they, they want you to exhaust all your remedies so you can tap out. But um, since we a little bit on that note talking young thug, we posted something last week on IG, the DA from Philly. Um, he press conference. He mentioned a couple gangs from Philly and basically sent them, I guess, a warning shot that they were coming for them. Keep it a scene, though. What's your thoughts on it? I think it's a time political scheme. Uh, it's it's a they they knew about this for a while, right? And they knew these gangs like. Like the back of their hand, I'm sure they had info on all everybody and everybody gang where where they hang out at, who's who. So I think it's a, a a political game for whoever's like next about to go for office. School's about to start up. Right, he, he wants to do it. They're gonna do a clean sweep, and then we're gonna be, we're gonna get those whoever endorses and pushes this through all these praise and whatever just to get them reelected. Right. Well, there's no reelection. Is so they up for a new, new governor? governor. New governor, but the, the Philly, Pennsylvania's governor election is this year. So, Tom what's your thoughts on Jordan. it, Vita? I feel like kind of similar to what he's saying, like these motherfuckers know what's going on because he spit out all these names. No. Right. Like, like he's been new. And a lot of the and people I, in the comments that we didn't know what was going on. Like, like I had to explain it to some people because even shout out Sheet, he like who the hell was O to the floor? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, like you don't see know what I'm saying? Is, a lot of people don't know. Don't know so that. for him to just be spitting yeah. that out fluently like we supposed to know who these, right. like that right. was crazy. But they do all that shit Around election time, so they can right. like to make it like they doing something. Right, yep. right, right. So let me ask y'all a question, right? Because of that that press conference, like let's say they go ahead and do a mass indictment, they like lock people up. But I wanted to give you an example. Let's take Rafe Edmonds. He's a famous, well known drug dealer from DC. He was yep. getting money in the eighties. Mm-hmm. He was being investigated from eighty five to eighty nine. He got indicted in 89. When he got charged, they charged him, that their, their, their crew, they were tied to over 30 homicides. So in these four years that y'all watched them, mm-hmm. 30 homicides happened on their clock. So what I want to ask you is, are these victims, because we all know that everybody knows what's going on, the DA, mm-hmm. the mayor, the commissioner. Are these victims of violence, whether they've been murdered, they've just received gunshot wounds, are they collateral damage? Absolutely. We know the rules of engagement. At the end of the day, if the police know more than we think they belong, from word of mouth, actual rats, confidential informants, all of the above, and like you said, the feds, they're not like city cops. They investigate you for years. Right. And they know what's going on. They know that these murders are tied to you. So they'll let that shit pile up and wait. Right. They feel like they got enough for it to be a slam dunk conviction. And especially if they got, if they can't get to the big dog and they got somebody else, they'll wait till that guy kills three or four people. Right. And then use that against him. Like, yep. for, for the prime example of Sammy the Bull. Right. And, and, and John Gotti. Sammy the Bull admitted to 18 homicides himself. Right. And he told on Gotti, you know, he went free on 18 homicides. Just right. Well, Gotti. I mean, well, that's kind of what, what Alpo, 
with Wayne Perry. But Albo still went to jail. Yeah, he went. He, oh, oh, Sam, uh, you said yeah, he Bull ain't getting no numbers. Yeah, I mean, but he went to jail though, right? But he Alpo got like twenty or some shit like that, yeah, right? But Sammy I'm Bull, saying, matter of fact, no, Sammy Bull. If I'm not mistaken, he didn't. He went in witness protection and then went out Seattle or somewhere and, and got when, a, um, even 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 ring. if so, you not getting life when they say. All right, you killed five people, but since we want you, your hitman and kill twelve people, right. we gonna let you slide, even though you're the money. Exactly. So, so I'm like, damn. Let's just think of because now that everything is being brought to the light, and it's like, nah, some of these uh people that were shot by accident when this person is shooting at that person. I'm like, damn, how much of this does uh you let ride in an investigation? Like when you know people are running around wild. Mm-hmm. Like how long how y'all let 30 bodies pile up on on Ray for and them and y'all just letting them get money like to build up mm-hmm. so he can go away forever. Right, right, right. Exactly. Like that 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 shows you don't care for the, the rest of the society or nothing else, in my opinion. Yep. But um let me ask you this though, because I was talking to my youngin, right? And I sent y'all the text after I talked to him. He said, and he's only 15, 16, 17 years old. He's in that age range. He said they don't have no old heads. He said down his way, they don't have no old heads. He said all their old heads is either in jail mm-hmm. or dead. These old heads ain't trying to mess with these young boys nowadays. But he's saying quick. they don't have no... He's saying most most of these young boys don't have no old heads. I, I could agree with that right. because also, not besides dead in the jail, the ones that are out there view these young boys as dickheads and they don't want to yeah. deal with it. They don't listen. If I tell you this and you go against what I'm saying... Of course, everybody do dumb shit, and make mistakes, but you consistently you like I'm, I ain't got nothing else to say to you, right? And then they not the young boys not trying to hear that shit. Anyway. Not 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 just that though, but I think it's also a thing where you got the old because like a lot of it go back to what I say the money thing. You got a lot of these older guys that got money but been cowards for years, mm-hmm. and they want to keep their money, so now they're using the young boys. As crash dummies to go do this, go do that because they got a couple dollars and the young boys don't. And the young boys willing to do it. The grind ain't the same now as it was in our era. Right. So being as though, because a lot of the schooling Mm -hmm. from the OS came to us. Right. Courtesy of the grind. Like, listen, you do this, that, and the third in the grind, you don't. You can't get no money right. if you if you, buy right. bodies is piling up. It ain't no grind like that no more. Ain't no motherfuckers ain't on the corner hustling. The I hustle agree with ain't you. the same. So right. these young niggas ain't getting no money. So all they doing is wreck chasing. Right. I but, agree. But with let you. me ask you a question though. It would police and everybody be standing back in Philly if some of these homicides was not people of color? But there some of uh, I, I, would, was I was women, saying was that, but that's why I'm blood. saying co- collateral I mean, damage because down. It's people that's been getting knocked down. It's not of race. It's just been innocent. Yeah. By, like all them people got people shot Temple, on South Street. People from Temple been getting yeah, knocked down for years. years. You see what I'm saying? South so, Street's been knocked down for years. So th- that's that's what I'm saying. But what's your thoughts on it, people? I don't think color so much is status. No, but I see, but status? see I, th- I think there's some unexpected situation. Like the one on South Street, that wasn't like a hit hit. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that was a situation that transpired. So, but we don't know that though. That's, that's true. That's true. It was true. like we three don't... of them back to back too. Huh? Three, it actually happened like three times back to back down South Street. I mean, not just down South Street. What about the girl that got shot in the bar where she just went out for the first time? Well, like I said, I don't think ha- more so color. I, I definitely think that plays a part. But I feel like status, status plays a big part. If it was somebody of a higher status that got hit. Cops wouldn't be cops would be on your ass more so as though. What just you mean by joke. status? Like, like who? Somebody like, that's famous, somebody that's rich, somebody who like a a, a a political person. Okay. Somebody like that. Then then you think that that'll make them and they investigation and swoop then? But think about it. Like you see on TV, you see CSI, all that type of shit. You've never seen CSI in the streets of Philadelphia. Well, yeah. let me tell you one thing that does help them out, right? Like any time these people get murdered, especially if it's somebody of high status, that's what they got. They're backing them. It's called what? life insurance, and a life insurance policy. Why they? What, if these people got to pay out, oh, we the insurance company like we gonna get to the bottom of this. We need to find out who killed JoJo or Ray or I whatever. I seen something about that. They said if everybody had life insurance, JoJo bodies wouldn't be piled they up. Would the not, they would not. They would not because they be making sure like yo, y- y'all gotta find out what happened, bro. We gotta pay out this money. I mean, you know, it's always uh-huh. about money. Yeah. 
But what's your thoughts on it, people? The DA, he had a message for the gangs or the cliques or the squads in Philly. Keep it a C note how you feel about it. Are the are the victims of these violent acts in the city of Philadelphia, are they collateral damage? Because right. as we can see, the DA knows what's going on. The mayor presented. knows what's going on. And the commissioner knows what's going on. So keep it a C note with us. Let us know. Yep. Um, let's talk a little NBA real quick. Um, There's been a lot of talk about LeBron. You know, this may be the year where he breaks Kareem's record. Shout out to you, John. You sent something about LeBron making more money than a whole WNBA combined. Yep. yep. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Keep it a scene. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You, you, they getting paid according to the market value. Right. NBA, WNBA ain't been around as long. It don't sell as many as tickets. That's right. why they make more money overseas. Right. What, what's your that. thoughts on it, John? I want to make sure I got the Bulls name right because – What's the uh, Bill Barr, I think? Uh, uh, or uh, Bill Burr, the comedian? Burr, yeah. Yo, that's a funny yeah. muscle. So he, he put out a tweet in, on why he thinks the NBA is failing or whatever. I just seen his. You got and, and, and I, yeah. I kind of agree Netflix. with him. He said and, why, what is failing? Yeah, the I, I, it's, it's, yeah. Listen, yeah I, here, I'm exactly it's going to be on the say. screen because I'm going to send it to you. All uh, right. Um, and he kind of put it like. With all these feminists and all the women that fought to get the NBA going and getting their own league, all the past NBA players, this, that, and the third, like y'all fought for this. And uh, I mean, from college players, that y'all fought for a, a WNBA league. And when it came, where were they? They they were frontline to get them these arenas, these teams, or whatever. But then when it came to pack and seats, none of these women were around. And right. he says that it's the women. To blame for this, he said, I, "Yeah, he, listen." He said, "Y'all rather watch Real Housewives than watch the games." He said, "Y'all don't come to the games. Y'all don't buy tickets." Right. That's a that that's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. I agree with y'all. Like, um, well, especially you, Vito, because you know, NBA is like one of the top three most popular sports in the world. So you know, they gonna get paid different mm -hmm. because they bringing in different money. But I do agree with that. The females don't support. You said all the feminists, all those. Yeah, they do, they they definitely don't support. You know what I mean? They so, don't watch an NBA game before watch a WNBA game. That that's a fact. That's a fact. But since we talking NBA, we talking LeBron. Let's let's do the top three best players right now coming into the season from the Pacific Division. That's the Lakers, Phoenix. You said coming in or the best of all time for the most coming in. Coming into the season, uh, I started yeah, you who started. who you got, Vito? The Clippers is kind of a, is kind of easy. You got uh, Claw, you got no, Paul George. No, 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 no. I'm just saying the top three players. Oh, the, uh, I, the, oh, the whole, whole division. division. Yeah, like who's the best player in the division? Who's the second best player? Who's the third okay, best player? I, I, I'm gonna go. Um, do you want to order or just yeah, go in order. Uh, I'm gonna go Steph, Bron, and, and I'm gonna go um Kawhi. Okay, shout out to that. Who, uh, who um, you got? I would ha I would have to actually double down and say the same to that one, Vito. Okay, same. uh, shout out to that. Um, I was gonna agree with y'all, uh, but since Kawhi didn't play the whole last season, yeah, or bar and injured, right, right, right. So what I'm, but I'm just saying I don't know what Kawhi coming back with. So, but he was but, my number but you three. Know what? No, you know what? I, I I'm sorry, I'm taking Kawhi off. Who you got coming at? into the season? I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm Who putting, you? I'm putting Booker. Okay, shout out to that then, I'm John. We got the same three. Yeah. I got Booker at three. I, can't, I, can't I got Brian at two, and yeah. I got Steph at one, one. the best one. player. Now, don't get me wrong. If if Kawhi would have played last year, Kawhi would either be my one or two. Mm -hmm. He would have been my one or two, but yeah. since I don't know what we getting, Coming you know. into the season, I, I, I put my I money on Book. Yeah. Before, I like you know book. book. yeah. So what's your thoughts, people? Right now, who's the top three players coming into the NBA season from the Pacific Division? Keep the C note with us. All right, so we we put up a clip in the story. It kind of sparked a lot of controversy and back and forth just amongst us. Within that clip, we had a brother. He was saying racism is a control mechanism for poor people. Keep it a C note. What's your thoughts on that? I agree with that. It is a control mechanism, but that shit is this poor, more so in the poor, for the poor, 
But it exists. If, if, listen, you could be a rich nigga, but if you're a rich nigga and you go into a, a room full of rich white people, you still just a rich nigga. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Simple as that. Uh, I, I feel the same way in certain situations. I think in certain certain situations, I think the least that is they all, mm-hmm. they're, they're, it's just two different classes. It's just them and then and then a, a lower class or whatever. And then, like you said, uh, I also feel as though in a big room of, of, of rich white folks mm-hmm. and then with a black man with the same amount, I, I, I still think that they still look at him as like, look at this. Black man with money, mm-hmm. nigga with money. Like Kanye yeah. said, you still a, even if you rich, you still yeah. A nigga but listen, clip. shout out to the to, to the guy on the clip because that's what I always said. It's about your money. It's not about your race. About like race. here, 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 here's my thing with that. Right. First of all, Vito as a hustler, just say back in the day your block is getting money. Anywhere you go out to the club and. You be like, damn, who them little niggas over there thinking they, they are? Mm-hmm. And, oh, them the boys from such and such just getting, man, them niggas ain't got more. You as, when you're, when, when we're talking money, you're always going to, so when you say that's just another nigga in the room, I don't think you, that's the case. Yo, you, you, time you, out, you, time you, out. Let me, let me finish yeah. though. Because even a billionaire, a billionaire that's self-made, that made himself a billionaire, when he's in the room and he sees another billionaire that had something hand down, he's going to look at him like, look, this nigga in here, he ain't had to work for nothing. I mean, it's, when you talking money, it's always going to be the next person look down on. Making, because most of the billionaires that are white guys are not self-made. They, that shit is old family money. So they're going to look at the mm. new guy like, this motherfucker just, he knew, they call him new money. He knew money. He don't know nothing about what's going it's on. It's a lot of them guys that did this self-made too though, Vito. Nah, who? And this, besides Jeff Bezos. Most of them other dudes come from family. And I don't even know if well, Bezos already had all money. All them dudes started them dudes out of a garage family. though. Apple, all, all all those businesses. Nah, but listen, ho, but the mistake you're making is that the, the family was able to invest hundreds of thousands of that shit. They didn't just was in a fucking garage and came up with Apple. They had investors back then. Yep. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they had some bread. I, I, I just look at it like I think that that, to me, because me and John went back and forth, I think the the black and white thing was to keep us fighting. I, I, like they're saying, and to keep us down, and to always have right. us looking then, at the wrong stuff. Maybe, but on every single application, what did they describe as people? Black, white. Yeah, but that's kids. here. But why do that's they need to know? Huh? That's here. But why do they need to know? Time, that, time that, out. That's that, that, that's here because me and John. Went, time out because me and John went back and forth about French people, right? And French people, they don't identify like that. So they but they don't identify they don't want to like that. Identify huh? their nasty by history. color or race. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, because true. you know what? That's not true. How many po- colonized countries did they do? Yeah. Because at the exactly, end of the day, they want to erase that have, ugly ass history you, uh, they, they got. Fritz, <laughs> you have French people that were born well, in all the Africans. Africans, then they look at them as Africans. They don't look at them as French. They just speak for But them. he put, when he, when we were, when, what I'm saying is, even if, how do you look at him? Africans. He looked at him, he classified them with the white people when he no. was, they but no. th- this no, is my thing. thinking about how much French Time out. influenced Time North, out. Am- North Africa, because there's so many top of, uh, so many countries over there that speak French. Mm-hmm. They kept it going. Now, let's not forget that they let in over 300 African oh, migrants me- over there. Now, before that, when they were colonized, do you think we was over there? We was. No, we, I mean, we so slow. Was it no, no native people or nobody ever over there? It was the French. They was of European like descent. Mm-hmm. All right. So let me ask you this then. If it's white or black, right? Because we already talked about the Africans. Mm-hmm. The richest person in this African of African descent is a Nigerian. Mm-hmm. How does he classify himself? How is he? It, he says he's Nigerian, right? He mm-hmm. doesn't say he's black, right? Yeah, he's Nigerian. Oh, okay then. So who's black? Who, he, he's still black. He's just a so black who gets who gets. So I, I'm glad you said that. Who gets put in the white category? Europeans. Like who though? Name anybody with white skin? <laughs> what are you talking about? See, that's what I'm saying. No, that's where it's all messed and up. That, at. And that's no, anybody see, white skin is white. No, no, no. But see, that's no, not no, it. no. And that's the problem that actually bugs me. Because if you go to any of your most of your coworkers and you go to that, what are you? 
you they're going to tell oh I'm Irish yeah I'm, I'm, no no I'm this no, no. Thing. but most yes. black people no. would you ask them that question oh. what do you are that's, like they that's get, the mistake you make. You know what people gonna say I'm Irish American, Italian American, are the people who say they're, I don't they're hear that. No, I don't even hear okay. the American. Well just say that. just say Irish Scottish. Ar- Irish, Scottish, uh, right. Russian. Greek. Those are the people who are in touch with as far as like maybe their grandmother or their great grandmother came over here and they know them. But the people think about all the people in middle America that say we are Americans. They don't say nothing about Irish, Italian, or none of that shit. They consider themselves Americans. So you saying over Ireland they're not no, considered I'm talking about the people of the United States. But that for, that's all of where the I, country that, back This is people. where the movie is they at claim in the as, United States. They claim so, themselves as Americans. But, but this is why I'm telling you this is where the movie is at because we're the only ones using the black and whites. Because I, 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 mm-hmm. If you're gonna do it like that, if my man is from Nigeria and he's worth 17 billion, and if you ask him, he's gonna classify as Nigeria. How you gonna put him as black? No, no, no. You how know, you gonna put him in you, that category? That, he's that, not even putting that, himself in that, that, that category. Is, that, and that's what um, you know. To be uh, uh, like I said, uh, on almost every uh, to be African American is to be American without privilege and to be. African without history, to be honest with you. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the difference. Like, and eat, like, I'll give we you examples. South Africa, the people that speak, they can have white skin. Right. They speak a language called Africans. They're considered colored. Right. But if, if, the average person from America walked past, you wouldn't know if they were white or black, but, but we're they're not considered talking colored about to the white people from South Africa. We're, we're, we're so not. it is black and white still over there. Nah, okay. what I'm saying is. Most of these powerful men that's in position, they're not even going to classify themselves as black. But us as Americans, we're going to put all of them in that category. If they're from the United States, they're, they're not. Like black. when John said, he like, is this many blacks, Hold this on, so billionaires? You're me, Byron Allen, um, what's the guy? Uh, the richest man. The, 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 what's the guy named me? I can't think of his name right now. Tyler Perry. So you telling me they don't consider themselves as black? I'm not talking. I'm talking about the Brilliant. richer guys, the Brilliant. guys that's from Africa. Yes, they consider themselves as Africans. But- exactly. No, they're gonna like, like I just said. They're gonna be like, I'm Nigerian. Yeah. I'm not yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Africa- when you go on the Billboard list, the people that we're gonna classify as you know, black is all people from America. Yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Uh, that's because of where we're from. We're from the United States. Just for example, when you go to another state, you say, "I'm from Philadelphia." I'm from Philadelphia. When you go over in Africa, they consider so I'm Nigeria because I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, I'm yeah but what what about the Asians? This out here, it's a bunch of bi- and Asian. I'm, and I'm disappointed saying, in them. I know we actually we know Asian. They say I'm Laos. I'm Cambodian. I'm what, Chinese. What I'm, I'm saying is China, Beijing. They got the most billionaires you know in the world. You, just in Beijing, okay. they're not white. They're not black. They're Asian. So, Oh, but okay, listen, what but, about what about on, Mexicans on, and stuff saying, like that? We're saying the Asians as a whole, but if you break it down, that it depends Chinese, on where they're from. Uh, yeah, I is. know. But so what, you're gonna say from but what from? I'm saying is they're not black and white. We're the only ones that got brainwashed into looking black and white. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, That's man. what I'm saying. Because there's other guys on that list. And a lot of people, I, I, we may say it over here, but you go tell a Russian he's white. He ain't trying to hear yeah, a he real. He's Russian. Yeah, yeah he's okay. not trying to hear that. I, I so we're classifying but, him as that. But in a lot of times when you look at stats, though, they also put Caucasians and they wrap them all in that group, though. When they talk about, if you talk at stats and stuff, they will group them. But, I mean, individually, they, they do have it. I think a background. So a Russian is a Russian. But it, listen, con- we consider ourselves black and white over here. Right. Even that's all over there. Right. And they still classify. Because there's no. We both from France. If you're African and I'm from France, they're going to say I'm French. You have and you're th- African that no. speaks French. Yeah, I so think they, they, would they would have to pay reparations that they knew exactly. Ex- oh, we ain't getting, we ain't getting we're not getting that Maybe. because look, because us over here, we're, we're so spread out with, the, with countries that we were taken from from over there. And where I like when I did my DNA ancestry, a lot of it did come from Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. but I had a lot from the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, Congo uh, a lot of Sudan. I, it was a lot of other African traits. Don't so, about the European history. So too, for let, them to say let, 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 Nigerian, African, I mean, Nigerian American, like it, we were, it was too many like different. Let, let that, me, let me, let me ask you this, right? Good. Most most people, a lot of people will say religious books are man-made and this, that, and the third. I don't read. What would make you think that ancestry thing is real? 
Yeah, yeah, because the, that's the, my the, thing listen, about. I was it. gonna say that because this all the shit he said about his ancestry, and I guarantee you he got some European shit on his ancestry because, too. Because this is the same shit that I, my brother did ours, I, and it's the same shit. Right. I don't. I, I I wouldn't put it past it, but there were some truths to it. But I wouldn't put it past that it's all true. I, I seen something they say you can do because, a African ancestry, like to see what tribe you came from and all that shit, like your ancestry. Because, yeah, but I mean, come on, man, that's too. That, that's them running a movie, man. That's, that's possible, them occupying. But it's time. also possible that that shit can be true. Be true. Nah. Yeah. So you I don't, don't think science is defined itself you can, to, to do a You DNA can retrace your, your roots far back. Like, my grandma can trace it far. Like, we got family members from so France let, let me, let, let, let's and just, Jamaica. So. Common sense ain't all that common, right? Mm -hmm. The two conspiracy guys is sitting here that's saying nah, that they... Time I'm, out. Time I'm, out. Let, 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 let me finish. It. The two conspiracy guys that say they don't give a crap about us... You mean to tell me they'll do all this history research on us? No, and I'm they, saying they, it's possible, boo, because nah. I'm saying, like, my Wait grandmom a has a photo album, and that shit goes back to fucking, well, like, the 1800s think, as far as family members. that we, She got family members from France, from Jamaica. I mean, I believe yeah. that, yeah. Well, I Mahomes. think, yo, it's all about money. And then if they say, like, we, we can tell them where they're from for this check, and it's this easy for yeah, us to I don't, break I, Yeah, I don't believe none of that. No, but see, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't have believed it either, but they explained the exact story of, of my whole mother's side that was exact to the T, because of my, it showed that I had a lot of bullshit, like Great Britain and Northern Wales and shit, because that's what colonized Trinidad, okay. and that's what my grandmother's... Uh, grandfather was and then it, it for some reason it added up without me even yeah, if you and that was a story it, that i knew before it even told me right. listen man, man. I mean, we got but, i mean we have too much I, free saying, time I, on our hands I, I man to I'm be believing it could be completely what i'm true. saying is I'm not, if not, you're not gonna believe a, a holy word what makes you i agree with john because on, some of that shit be too I, like where's though your grandparents can verify some of that shit it was too precise but i i'm not saying that it's all truthful and the whole Oh, one thing you, I noticed you keep saying us conspiracy theorists, but you always are the one saying it's a movie. So mm -hmm. you're nah, also a conspiracy theorist. This yeah. is, this is, yeah. I'm not, that's a scam now. I'm that's saying, like letting somebody all, read your palm. Some, no, Come some on, of that man. Shit, if it's accurate, what the fuck <laughs> you gonna not, know? If you let somebody read your palm, you gonna say some of that shit okay. is accurate and too. if it is, what the Come fuck on, can you man. do but believe it? If man. somebody reads your palm, they tell you everything man. that happened in your past and they don't know you from a Come can on, of paint, what the fuck is you gonna believe? Come on, man. Anybody can say you, it looks like you had a hard <laughs> it no, looks I'm like about come specifics. On, come on, come man. On. Come on, oh, man. You scoops. dealt with some type of death when you was 15. Come on, man. I'm talking about specifics. That is. That is. 15, my cousin got killed. Everybody come deal on, with man. death. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's a movie, man. But mm -hmm. yeah, though, uh, what's your thoughts, people? Racism. Is it a control mechanism for poor folks keeping the C note with us? Conspiracy Corner. We got anything for Conspiracy Corner? No, I ain't so got like nothing. We covered the conspiracy yeah, corner. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I do got one conspiracy corner. I just want to ask y'all a question. It's just a, a question because we were talking to black and white quarterbacks that time, and I remember Vito saying that y'all was switching from a traditional quarterback to a more mobile quarterback because that's where the game was going. So I, I've been noticed. I'm going to give y'all three names. Joe Burrow, and I'm not saying these guys aren't good, but Joe Burrow. Josh Allen, mm -hmm. Justin Herbert, they're all quarterbacks that can run and all that, right? Yep. So it is it possible that they're hyping them up because they're more so on what the black QBs can do Absolutely. instead of – Especially Justin Herbert. Now, these are, like you said, they're all good quarterbacks. I feel like a lot of um, Joe Burrow, even though Joe Burrow was balling, a lot of success was just throwing that shit up. And it's actually a clip. Right on, on, on NFL TV, where he says to Jamar Chase, "Oh, from here on out, I'm gonna just throw that shit up, and you right. gonna go get it." Right. So a lot of that shit is just him throwing it up, going to get it. Right. Josh Allen, he's a different animal because he he's a big boy and he'll run you the fuck over. Right. But uh, Lamar Jackson on on the flip side, like he do all that running. He ain't as good as a thrower, but they'll get if somebody if if a white quarterback came in and did the same thing Lamar Jackson did, I feel like he'd get more credit. Right. Would, right. Definitely. Right, because um, to an extent... Baker Mayfield ain't all that great. Not Baker Mayfield, but that Tebow was supposed to be that. Remember, the guy that couldn't throw, but a run you over. But shit. he wasn't agile or none of that. He didn't make it, but they hyped him up. Mm -hmm. 
They hype. And, and, and they tried to make him make it, but it didn't work. Yeah, so that that was my conspiracy because I'm like, I know when we ranking quarterbacks, you want to put the new young talent in. And like I said, the the debate, like I was saying, I'm cool with people saying Brady was over Stafford and all that. But like when you got Burrow and I'm like, I couldn't figure out why these guys, they had them over. And I'm like, maybe that's why, because the league is changing and these are the guys. Because when you look, even non-blacks, like, because two are not black, right? But he's another one of them guys that could go on you, run. You got Murray. So the league is switching mm-hmm. over. And to me, it, when when I thought about it, it reminded me of the movie. Because I'm all about a movie, The Great White Hype. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, right now, these guys are their great white hypes. Yep. So that's why they're pushing them like that. And I, I, I just wanted to know, am I tripping? No, you're not tripping. They always, like I said, they always, like especially the old school NFL players, they always say that style of quarterback does not win, which is bullshit because if you think about the that's last it. 10 years, that style of quarterback been in the fucking Super Bowl. Then say, every year or every other year. Right. But on the flip side, what they're not going to take consideration is percentages. If you got 95% of the quarterback, actually 98% of the quarterbacks that are white, of course they're going to have more wins because it's more of them. But like I said, the last 10 years, right. quarterback, Russell Wilson, right. Lamar Jackson, right. Patrick, come on, man. Right, right. Wait, we counting Patrick Mahomes? I am the heat. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> he, he you know what I mean? Hold on. He, and, and this, he not drinking Henny Black. Look what he drinking. He got Henny on, White. <laughs> Henny White, not, on, the, not yeah. Black Power. Let me raise man. my glass to, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes and shit. He just gave his, his view. Beautiful wife, a eight hundred thousand dollar engagement uh, ah, ring. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that. Eight hundred. Jeez. Man, we. Ooh, yeah. Boy. Shout out to that. Oh, yeah. Shout out to that. But what's your thoughts, people? Joe Burrow, <laughs> Josh Allen, Justin <laughs> Herbert. Are they being hyped up because they're the great white hopes, the mobile no, no, no. Hold on. white let, quarterback? Let I feel like Justin Herbert is good, but I feel like he's being way overhyped. But Josh Allen actually yeah. showed me something in this last, last year. I, I would agree with Josh Allen, mm-hmm. but Herbert never been to the playoffs, and he's had pretty good and teams. They, I've seen lists with him in the top mm-hmm. five. Burrow does throw that shit around, and he lost to a lot of the quarterbacks. He oh, well, he lost to Stafford. So, yeah. and speaking well, and, Patrick Mahomes, you know what? And he, Garoppolo, he made me think of a little conspiracy corner real quick. How come nobody high up him? politics right now do you ever see a, a a black couple of any of any sort obama fuck you talking no i mean you had obama. you we, we yeah. had obama look Shout right now me. no right now you got what you would call what's what's our vice president who vice president kamala harris okay yeah. she has a a, 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 a white a white uh yeah. husband right okay. she, has, she has no kids or whatever but she ain't all black neither if you Clamp, going uh, hold yeah, on I if you going not, if you going to take strike from my homes take strike from my don't she, no, she no, do, no, no, i don't i'm not a no, fan no no that don't even not. count don't even say her that cuz she ain't black like you was saying. but but see i know all my to get gets drenched back out as soon as the black person does uh have a biracial kid usually it goes they go right back so i mean same thing with Patrick Mahomes. He is a biracial kid. I, I, I don't know, man. Clarence you, Thomas. You, you called us the, to, guard Cla- Cla- that, Clarence Thomas, that Supreme Court they, they justice. They do say you usually, yeah, white, white. I'm saying you marry a woman like your mother. So if his mother is white, it, I can see Yeah, it. that's but, a fact, too. But I, can, I I want them to do some homework. A high-ranking politician out there that's a black family. High ranking on politician period, black politician period. I mean, don't get, high, I mean, uh, give me like, give me like a governor, a senator, something like that. Man, we, we yes, no, well, I mean, I, I mean, not, maybe on, not, that, maybe not that, but it's it's seven, most it's, politicians uh, are married, and if maybe black, I should go a little bit higher. They're up. married to a black woman. Yeah, it's senators but, and governors with oh, black. I, I don't see that no more on TV. You I don't see no more. I see a lot more interracial, interracial commercials. You see that. You yeah. see that? Like, like, like my man Brown said, a lot of that should be the movie. Like, you yeah, watch yeah, the shot, it's a I mean, how the boy is gay, but they put him out there with a woman and make a lady straight. Mm-hmm. So that's possible yeah. too with the iteration. Yeah. Everything is to distract you, man. Don't fall for the movies, I do some man. Homework. <laughs> you know what I mean? But football's almost back. Let's keep it a C note before we get out of here, right? Let's not be biased because we ain't been biased all show. Pause oh, right now. Na- we have John has with his top five. Okay, yeah, John was a little. He was definitely biased. His Uber's on standby though. Right now, fantasy football. You got to take a pause. Tight end. 
Are we taking Darren Waller? Or are we taking George Kittle? Keep it a C note. Mm. That's kind of hard because neither one of them get a lot of touchdowns. I mean, this year. I'm going to go Kittle. I'm going to go Waller. I'm going to go Kittle because Waller, got, they got Adams, and Adams and Carl played the cars together, so they're going to be trying to hook that shit up. All right. And then they got they got somebody else. I forgot who else they got. So I don't. They got Renfro. Yeah, why are we gonna get? Damn, yeah, why are we gonna get less receptions? W- what's your thoughts, yeah? Why you why you got Wilder? Because Derek, uh, what's his name? Derek Carr. Right? Yeah, he's a better quarterback than any quarterback the, the got. <laughs> I, that's why. I, shout out to that, John. That's why I'm taking Derek. He's gonna get the ball. To Not just that though, don't but get a lot of touchdowns. But yep, but but what you call it is gonna. It, Devontae Adams, you got to double. If Devontae you gonna have to, I feel like he gonna force. If you gonna Devontae have to Adams. double Devontae album Adams, Darren Waller is gonna have one on one. Let's do the math. I feel like he gonna try to force feed Adams. Nah, and then Hunter Renfro been his go to man. Hunter Renfro is the possession he's the receiver. Yeah, he's he's the gonna get off guy. regardless. Yeah. Yeah. He gonna get off he regardless. But what I'm saying is. Darren Waller is a mismatch that you had to double team. You can't double team him really now because Devontae's over there. That's so true. all you got to do is line them up on different sides, even if you line <laughs> them up on the same side. And I agree with John. Carr <laughs> is 55 times better than Trey Lance, even though Trey Lance had a good <laughs> he, preseason he game. Shout out to that. Trey Lance ain't done that. You know what I mean? Shout out to that. But what's your thoughts, people? Fantasy football right now. It's your pick. You need a tight end. Darren Waller's on the board. George Kittle on the board. Who you taking? Keep it a C note with us. Um, let's go quarterback real quick. And we're still talking fantasy football. Mm-hmm. Would you take Josh Allen this year? Or Patrick Mahomes. Keep it a C note with us. I'm taking Allen. Huh? I'm taking Allen. Why? Because Patrick Mahomes lost his motherfucking go to guy. Okay. What's your thoughts, John? I would have said the same thing. Bills, Bills quarterback. Why? Talking to Mike. My bad. Yeah, I'm taking the Bills quarterback. I what? definitely. Um, they solid. It's the same core basically. Which will call him lost his go to man. So I'm right. Like, Allen yeah. still got dead. Um, and Josh Allen, he was solid. He well, played solid last year. Right? Shout out to well, that. Me and Vito, we out of drinks, but uh, we can all do a toast. John, you can take a sip for us. Um. I would say Josh Allen too, not just be not not because Mahomes lost his go to guy, but when you know that John is on the one or the two yard line, you know Josh Allen is going to punch it in, and that's going to be six points over four points. He's going to get you more, so that's why I would take him. What's your thoughts though, people? Right now, fantasy football is your pick. You need a quarterback. You taking Mahomes? You taking Josh Allen? Keep it a C note with us. Anything for said with your chest? You got anything? No, I don't have anything. I'm good, good brother. All I'm gonna say is, and I'm, 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 I'm. A, this is gonna be my first time officially saying it, and I'm gonna keep saying it until we reveal who we think is Super Bowl champions who will play in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? I know I've told y'all a lot, but all I'm gonna say is, L.A., L.A. You know what I mean? That's my first week saying in a couple weeks, I will explain it. Don't think that it's just a Rams thing, family, because it's not. But um, I guess we could go ahead and wrap <laughs> this joint up. Look, they sick of... <laughs> I, I ain't to say Look, they, they let me run my movie. <laughs> like, go you, 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 you know what I mean? Um, we appreciate everybody for tuning in, people. Your first time uh, here on YouTube or Spotify, make sure you hit the sub button, hit the like button. Share it with a friend, man. As always, I'm your boy Brown. To the left of me, we got... Your boy John. And to the left of John, we got... Vito. Shout out Hustle and Heart. Call him a Uber. Shirts, cups on deck. Yeah, definitely support. Holla at us, people. We up all ahead. This is what I'm feeling like Let me tell you what I'm feeling like